YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy Jay Tizzle, and today I'm bringing you episode number one of World War II Guns for Dummies. So, in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you the grease gun, the best way to use the grease gun, and that's not the grease gun. So, let's go over here and let's grab this grease gun that I picked out. All right, here we go. So, you see, I got gold for the grease gun. It's the first gun I got gold with. Now, this gun is a submachine gun that has a moderate rate of fire and decent accuracy with decent range. There was nothing really special about it. It's just it's just average. That's really just what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the stats. We have a um, six damage, so average, six range, average, eight accuracy, just a little above average rate, but it's you know still average, and that five fire rate. So there's nothing special about this gun other than the fact that it's average. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off every attachment I have show you guys what it's like shooting it. I'm going to go ahead and aim at the middle and I'm just going to shoot so you can see spread. And we'll stand about... We'll stand on this wood. So this, yeah, this is about a medium range. Alright, so there you go. There's the spread from... I, I don't even know what this range would be. I guess it's like a medium range. It's kind of close to medium range. But there's a spread on the gun. So it kind of bounces around in the middle and then it works its way out to the right. Now we got a little longer range here. As you can see, longer range is going to work its way up. But it does have a lot of kick at these medium and long ranges. Obviously you don't have to really worry about it up close because, I mean, it's pretty... It's, just, it's pretty nice. It's accurate up close. But these medium to long ranges are going to be your, your hardest points with a gun. As for rate of fire, the rate of fire, again, nothing really special. So this rate of fire is going to, um, it's going to be troublesome when you come up to a PPSH up close or a shotgun or something like that. You're probably going to get outgunned just because it's not, it's not firing fast enough. So what we're going to do in today's episodes, we're going to have a gameplay with the gun and I'm going to go ahead and make a class that I think is going to kind of change it up a little bit. So... We're going to give it better range with advanced rifling. I'm going to give it grip so it doesn't have the recoil. And then I'm also going to throw on rapid fire down here at the bottom. So let's look at the increased stats. So now we went up in range all the way to a 9. We were a 6 in range, now we're a 9. In accuracy, we went from an 8 to an 11. And then the fire rate, we went from a 5 to an 8. So this completely just morphed the gun. And that's what I'm going to go get a gameplay with, just to see if it, it made it any better. And you can see the ins and out of the gun. Oh, yeah. Look at the spread. Just the spread from here. I wish this was, like, reset, but it, it won't. Look at that spread. It literally hopped around the inside ring. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to when we get in the game. I'm going to go ahead and play a hard point to knock out this challenge. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. See you there. And here we go, guys. We're going to hop into a hard point on Gibraltar, which is, I mean, I like the map. I like how it looks. I like the aesthetics. I like the ambience. I like everything about this map, but the way it plays. So this map is very hard for submachine gun players just because there's a lot of head glitching and there's a lot of control. So if you have the most popular gun right now is the BAR, which is the Browning Automatic Rifle. And it's usually two to three shot kill, depending, sometimes four shot at longer ranges. That gun's going to be the key here on this map. Now, of course, I'm going to be using the grease gun, but I have to watch out for everyone that's on, with the SGG44, the BAR. They're going to be holding these head glitches. Here, let me jump down the infantry. I don't have primed yet on this prestige, so that's why I'm running infantry. I'm going to post this raw, so no matter if I do bad or good with this gun, I'm just going to go ahead and post it. All right, this guy's on the stairs over here. Now, this is what I'm talking about. The whole middle of the map is going to be completely controlled by just different types of assault rifles. What do we have here? This guy's got a Type 100, but you'll see. I'm going to spawn right in his face again, too. Unfortunate. All right, so I need to find my first kill. I'm gonna need that. 
my first game on as well. They're spawning behind us now. Got a kill. I just noticed that the hill rotated. Yeah, with this a class, it's the gun's definitely melting now, like melting. We might have just did something, boys. We might have just turned an average gun into one of the best classes in the game. Okay, I can't hit him. There we go. Got a recon drone. Let me get some hill time right here. Just want to get that score up. All right, let's go hit this guy in the back because he's gonna try to flank us. Nope, he's dead. All right, let's go to new. I'm looking kind of lost right now just because that guy was like running circles around me. They're gonna be spawning back here. I gotta make sure that. Get that. Did I get that kill? He's in that cave. Let's run away from that. We need to challenge stupid gunfights. He's up top. All right, I'm gonna want to work this side right here. All right, I got this streak. I'm gonna go ahead and call this one in. He ch he chased me down here. What a guy. He chased me down there. Nice. All right, well, we're sitting at seven to three. I need some more hill time. I don't want to just play this game and I get objective. I feel like this guy's going to jump down. What a savage, dude. Like I said, up close, PPSH is just going to wreck. Like this, he hit four shots before I could even get two off on him. That's with rapid fire. So you you, you can even imagine, like, without rapid fire, I'm losing that gunfight 100%. Unless he just whips every single shot. Ooh. I'm gonna show you guys a nice little spot. I want to do map tutorials as well, but there's a nice little spot right here to challenge. I'm gonna pop the three piece for you guys. On this hill, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys since it's here. Unless I just got gunned by STG, see? STG and BARs are taking over the game. I'll have to do a map tutorial for you guys. That's something I want to do to go over call outs and things that will help me out, help you guys out. Competitive or just playing the game in general. If you're new to the channel, you should know that like, I didn't see this guy at all. But if you're new to the channel, Call of Duty is my primary game. It's always been my primary game. Um, I recently started uploading a year ago and then stopped uploading just because of uh, school work and everything in between but got back into it recently and I was just so excited for this game to drop that I'm gonna start pumping out all kinds of videos on this game it's just this is such an amazing game dude they did a really good job with this there's still things that need to be fixed there's flaws but got that kid real quick pop his head glitch oh we want to kill my teammate let me do that That guy. I don't know how he got there. Right, let me grab some hill time. I'm gonna get some defense. I think defense are like the best way for XP. So might as well. Dude, this gun is nasty. Oh my gosh. Reloading. 
<laughs> we might have just did it, boys. This this class, the advanced rifling with the rapid fire, and like you don't need quick draw on pups. So, you you aim up fast enough. Let's see if I can show you guys this. I'm gonna have to push through here to get to the new hard point. But this spot is a great way to challenge this head glitch. If you're sitting this hill ever, you can just sit here and challenge this. Obviously you want to make sure that no one's going to push through the cave and this guy's sitting in the corner. <laughs> the world, dude. You're always going to run into people like that. That's just how they play the game. Right, just pop up here on half and see if we can get something done. He hit me. All right, I'm 18 to 10. I'm gonna get some more action for you guys. We're already just, there's no reason to be in the hill if they're just gonna stand there the whole time, so. Enemy recon aircraft observed. Like I said, head glitches in the middle of the map. Map control is so, so annoying. This map makes me wanna break stuff, for real. Enemy holds the hard point. Because he's at G42, pops his HUD glitch, there it is. I feel like barrels are the only thing you can't shoot through either. Which is really frustrating, really weird, but... Fighter pilot inbound, scraping the target, hard point is in enemy head. Hard point in allied head. This isn't the best map for this showing. Because ah, stuff like that. But that's a good example of, I mean, just an average gun. Can't climb this ladder. <laughs> Damn it. Hard point is in enemy hands. Frustrating. Head glitches, head glitches, head glitches. Of course I get Gibraltar, like, the only... Where's he at? BAR, STGs. He killed me out of all three people that ran by. <laughs> He's still sitting up there. This kid must really like this side of the map. Like, he, he thinks that this is the way... He's gonna get all his campy streaks. Hazon bomb mission underway. You see, that's what happens when you come up close. Like he's not gonna. Hard point locked down. Flip the map. See if I can pop Enemy a big multi for you guys right here. Nope, BAR shreds me here. This gun will get nerfed. It beats out every submachine gun. It beats out any gun in the game. Too strong. Doesn't it's not like speed that has nothing to do with it, but the, the bullets are just shoots nukes. There he is. BAR. But like I said, I'm gonna do one take. So that's the only game you're gonna get with this gun. Just because, I mean, I just need to showcase what it can do in a certain situations and. Most of these kills, I'm getting killed from super far head glitches that I have no control over. I really can't just, except for that. STG 44. ARs are super overpowered. 
that's just facts. But that, that patch should be coming in soon. I'm pretty sure they're dropping a patch tomorrow. I don't know what's in that patch. They haven't dropped any like patch notes or... But that'll do it for this game. We didn't even hit the score limit. Head glitch, STG44. There you go. So, recommended class setup would be the one I showed you right there. You can either run infantry, which gives you an extra attachment, or you can run prime if you want to run like airborne or something else. Or you can even go to the max and you can run airborne, I mean primed and infantry, which gives you four attachments. And then you can throw on like a red dot sight or um, extended mag, which you really wouldn't need extended mag. But like a red dot or reflex sight would be a great addition to it. Just help you with those longer range kills and kind of turn the grease gun into a better type 100. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this lobby, but I will go ahead and show you the class one more time. And there we go. All right, here's his class, I ran infantry. I had the grease gun, which I'm maxed out on. Got the grip, advanced rifling, rapid fire. And then I have hustle, just because I want faster reloads. And that's kind of like your slide of hand of this game, fast reloads. But there you have it. This has been Guns for Dummies, World War II Guns for Dummies, the Grease Gun tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more stuff like this, leave a like on the video. And it's been your boy Jay Tizzle. Until next time, 